And then item number seven, public input on solid waste matters. They're, they're I heard you're asking some questions anyway. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up on them. If you want some of that stuff that we were able to find out, come to the courthouse. I'll get it for you. Well, it's going to be a long process. I think you should just threaten to pull out. It's you own part of that building, too. And all the equipment. And all the equipment. If you want some building, let him have it. Pull out the equipment. To have him pay you for the building. Money ahead. Well, there's just <clears throat> originally what we're talking about here is the cost what it's taken to recycle. What the what? <clears throat> the cost what it's taken to recycle. Sure, it's, it's just gone up and up. And uh, the county owns the equipment inside the building. I believe they also own part of the building. The Howard Activity Center. Yes, yes. building. And Howard Activity Center. Um, There is a portion that is paid every month for, uh, I don't know how to describe this, this opportunity cost just to allow us to business or some other things that are coming up. And we're, we're trying to get to the bottom of this, and uh, it's just going to take some time to get enough facts and figures together to see what's going to the county needs to go. But it is costing an arm and a leg, right? It does. And Sac City is kind of on the short end of the stick because, say, here Lake View, Holy Boat, Wall Lake, you know, they bring in recyclables or things that don't quite meet recyclable standards. Our city calls to the landfill, and the city gets paid also, or, you know, gets charged for that also. So, so we get charged dumping fees then? Oh, yeah. Let's say, He's from Odie Boat, you know, and he brings in a load here, and maybe not all of it meets recyclable standards, right. so there's going to be some junk left over that's going to be hauled to the landfill. Well, our trucks come pick that up. Am I correct, Adam? Yeah, go into their dumpster, and it would be assessed against our weights yes. out at the landfill. Yes. And for some reason, I don't understand the figures here. I'm going to get a report for that before I say anything in regards to the amount of tons other communities are bringing their sack. So, yeah, as of me right now, that's where it's at. Is Jim Shell Shelley coming to the meetings? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because he's usually the one that brings those reports in, and I, we've questioned those for a long time. The reports well, we are we getting labor reports now. We are. They've never been received. Who, who's the representative from the Board of Supervisors? The Exactly. But if anybody here on the council has... Once I get this, you know, the missed a month meeting there, you know, and I'm trying to get a handle on how some of this is going on, and I found out that there's no part of the report, there's not very good labor, labor to all in on that, you know, it's so much, you know, a here for 12 hours, this and that, and I'm going, all right, whatever, how about the labor, you know, because that's the biggest portion of that. So, we just need to, uh, as a county, we need to figure out, you know, what direction to go here. But it's Sac City right now is picking up the tabs for recyclables that do not meet recyclable standards. You know, if they're not hyperplastic or glass. And then we get the opportunity to haul it to the landfill and we get charged for that. Yeah. We build them up to a you know, month like the significant or <coughs> Well, we don't know how much is, you know, comes from what other community you know, we just come and, to and arguably one of the things they base our assessment on is the amount of weight we deliver out to the landfill. And so if a portion of our weight is made up of rejected recyclables at the Howard Center, in essence you could say that what's being picked up at the Howard Center is non-city waste 
being counted against our assessment weight. So you could say we're subsidizing something. <laughs> yes, we have. And it's been, you know, but how do you determine, you know, okay, you know, what well, I think that would be, should be easy. They should be able to separate it. It's already separated. They should be able to separate that into a special container and left there. And so we we'll go to the Yeah, we'll so we'll we'll come and get it. So have to take turns every month. Seems like it could be handled somehow. But that's what's going on right now. Okay. You keep us in the form of that. If there's a volunteer that wants to take my place on that board, it's going to be a good job. You're doing a fantastic job. I'll pull you on it. You've jumped ahead of me. So. Okay. Any other thing that we want to cover?